What up, man? Henry the Hitman, the hustler, you dig? Drama House, A Game Entertainment, aka Henry Booker. You know, they just took my motherfucking Dyke Bitch video down. You know, I was getting hella views on that. They was feeling that. Probably was just feeling it because the, the sex I had in that motherfucker. It don't matter because I was getting the views on that shit. They took my shit down. You know what I'm saying? Some nigga probably snitched on me, old bitch ass niggas, but that ain't nothing. Check some of my videos out, man. I'm 38, you know what I'm saying? I'm still in the game, about to be 39 on the 15th, you know what I'm saying? Feeling good about myself. It ain't about age, it's how you feel, you dick. You know what I'm saying? I'm from New York, Harlem, Grants Projects. You know what I'm saying? I live in Cleveland now, I've been there for a while, but you know what I'm saying? I still rep the NY, I still love my shit. The essence is still here. I'm a hustler, so you already know Harlem stand up. But at the end of the day, man, I want to do that um, recap on that Steams and that motherfucking Rum Nitty. Fuck a classic. This was fire. You feel me? You got classic and you got fire. This was fire. You dig? Them niggas was going in, and my nigga Steams, man. I like Steams. I like listening to what the fuck Steams got to say. I love his energy. You know what I'm saying? He looked just like a normal dude that go in there and go in. You feel me? And he be going. You know what I'm saying? Rum Nitty, same way. He be going. Rum Nitty came out of really nowhere barbecuing niggas. You feel me? Rum Nitty be barbecuing niggas, man, because not just gun bars, he got intelligent, he know how to set that shit up, and just like JC, I love niggas that can set they shit up, I don't like niggas with weak setups and hard punchlines, that shit is like making up, that's like making up some shit rhyme just to get to the punchline, you know what I'm saying, I want the whole joke to be motherfucking funny, but at the end of the day, man, these niggas was going the fuck in, you feel me? So like a motherfucking genius. That prepping saga shit, classic. You know what I'm saying? Them niggas was going in. That nigga smack pushing them young niggas on you top tier niggas. He about to put his fucking foot on y'all neck, man. He doing interviews with the niggas and shit. Like, this is, these is little niggas. He like pushing these niggas. He like, you know what? You niggas don't want to step down. Man, we gonna flood you niggas. For real, so you top tier niggas better be doing what A-Verb and, and Sway Severin Goods and them niggas doing. Giving PG niggas motherfucking um, battles because it's not just helping the PG nigga. Why you giving the PG nigga a battle? You're not really helping him. You is, but you're really helping yourself more to stay relevant as a top tier nigga because you niggas is starting to be called like vets. And when you start becoming a vet, that means you damn near on your way out the game. You feel me? So you gotta go back into the dungeon where you came from, chew these motherfucking new niggas up, and let the motherfucking people know like, nah, nigga, I've been in the game for a while, but I'm still a new nigga myself. I'm, I still got hunger, you know what I'm saying? So do not let Smack flood you niggas out, because if you do, it's over. Once you out, it's over, man. You gotta go back to the dungeon and start prize fighting, man. Because if you keep just sitting there waiting on other top tier niggas, niggas ain't gonna wanna fuck with the battles, man, because they're gonna be born, and then niggas gonna be like, I don't even know what he be doing. You know what I'm saying? I ain't even heard nothing from this nigga in a while. Just because you battled years ago and you was nice don't mean nothing, man. You gotta battle. You gotta fucking fight, nigga. That's the only way you gonna stay up is to fight. You feel me? Can't be no diva. The diva, that diva system shit was in 14. Oh, it was in 14. It's 15 now. It's the motherfucking, it's the motherfucking year of the hunger, nigga. For real, nigga. They coming. Niggas is about to be losing their spots. Smack is a genius, for one. He a street nigga. And he a businessman. And he ain't bowing down. You feel me? We don't negotiate with terrorists. Bottom fucking line, man. So you niggas better get your motherfucking shit together, man. For real. If you got to change your style up, change it up. Because it's only a few niggas that can be divas. It's only a few. It's only one Beyonce. You feel me? Then you got Sierras and a lot of them, but they ain't like Beyonce. So you do the math. In the battle game, it's going to be the same way. You got... You got a, even Charlie Clips, he known as the GOAT right now, and he, he battling. He be, he, sometimes he probably not be writing like he's like he supposed to, but as long as he stay battling and then he beat niggas when it's time to beat them, that's all he need to do. You feel me? It's just like the champion fighting a nigga, but it's not, it's, it's not untitled. The match is not untitled. So who like really give a fuck about even seeing it because it's not, they not fighting for nothing. You just in the ring with the champ. You get to spar with the champ. That's all you get to do. So big ups to motherfucking Smack for being a motherfucking genius. I talked some shit about Smack back in the past, but I also said I love Smack, you know what I'm saying? Because I love, ain't nothing like Smack. You feel me? Nothing. 
niggas, niggas, niggas really fiend for this shit, man. My niggas is, I'm, I'm a grown nigga. I got grown niggas, and we all love battle raps. If it wasn't for Smack, we wouldn't watch them other battles. We watch them other battles just like I was talking about with the fight, fighting other niggas to stay on top, just to stay in the game. We watch them other, them other leagues far so we can wait for Smack to have a championship match to get all our money ready for it. You know what I'm saying? We pay our little 10, 20 dollars here to watch KLTD, but we saving our hundred to go see Smack, man. You know what I'm saying? Because Smack is the shit. It's just bottom line, and the steams and motherfucking rum nitty shit was fire. They went in. It was a motherfucking classic. But I'm saying it was fire. It was a classic, but it was fire. So at the end of the day, man, the crowd. We won. The viewers won, man. I ain't even gonna judge that battle, man. Even though Steam slipped up a couple times, but the shit he be, he be going in and rum nitty, man. Man, them niggas was going. Them niggas was going. But if I had to, if I had to pick somebody, I gotta go with Rum because he didn't slip up. Like you know, and I caught my nigga. Um, Steams, he be slipping up in certain times because cause he goes so hard, so I can understand it. But Steams, you got to catch that shit because niggas, you know what I'm saying, when it's a close battle and it's really, and y'all really went in like y'all did, did this time, niggas going to have to go to the, to the motherfucking, to the books and look like, look for the flaws. Just like on Chop, nigga. You feel me? And you like, boom. He had a flaw right here and he had a flaw right here. And dude shit and had no flaws and his shit was just as fire as your shit, so we gotta give it to him. But at the end of the day, salute Steams, you know what I'm saying? You was spitting fire. Every time I see you, you be on your shit, my nigga. I like your team, I like your whole team, chess, prayers, you, and I gave who else you got rolling with you, but them the three right there I'm fucking with. And um Y'all top tier niggas got a problem, man. I'm telling you. Y'all niggas got a problem. When Smack get involved and start backing these little niggas. Y'all niggas got a problem. Believe it, man. Drama House, A-Game Entertainment, man. Fuck with me on some of my videos, man. You know what I'm saying? I'm just a nigga just be doing this shit, having fun, man. You know what I'm saying? It is what it is, man.